going on guys? Welcome to the stretching routine. Today we're going to take care of the hips, the hamstrings and overall stretch the legs to help us out with the squats and deadlifts. So the best thing to do before this video is to warm up. So either perform five minute cardio on some sort of cardio machine like the bike or the treadmill or if you don't have access to a cardio machine just do a few power squats. So literally pause this video and do three sets of 10 power squats. That's it, I just wanted to squat for 10 to 50 reps three times, that way your legs are gonna become a little bit more loose. So during this video, just follow exactly what I'm doing and you should be fine. We're gonna hold each stretch for 30 seconds and then we're gonna take 10 seconds to switch between each move. I'm gonna show you exactly how to perform each and every exercise, so just follow exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna set my timer and we're gonna start off with the routine. So let me get into it. The first move that we're going to perform is gonna be some calf stretches. I'm gonna put the routine on. We've got 10 seconds to roll with the whole thing. Let me turn up the volume. And basically the whole move, I just want you to walk up to a wall, put your hands on it, and then on the beat, boom, I want you to take one step forward and keep the, uh, keep the leg behind you, flat on the floor, and I just want you to lean into it. Lean forward as much as you can, feeling the stretch right in your calf. So that's it, I just want you to lean towards the wall with that leg. If you need to increase the stretch, just place that leg behind you a little bit further back. And we're gonna hold on to it. You wanna feel a stretch in your calf. All right, boom, we've got 10 seconds to switch over. So we're gonna switch the legs. Now the opposite leg goes behind and you just wanna take it as far back as you can and just lean towards the wall. So the leg behind is staying straight, the leg in front is bending in the knee and we're just keeping that stretch for 30 seconds. Nice and easy, deep breaths. Starting off with the calf. 10 more seconds. Really easy. And boom, that's it. Let's switch the legs. So one more time. Switch the legs. Take the other leg behind. Try to Go as far back as you can and then just lean forward into the stretch. Place your arms on this wall. You should feel the stretch in your calf, lower leg. 15 more seconds and let's just freeze into this. You don't want to pulsate in, you just want to apply pressure to the calf nice and easy. And boom. 10 seconds, switch over, switch legs. So this is gonna be the last calf stretch. And that's it. Bend the leg in front, keep the back leg straight, lean towards the wall, feel the stretch in your calf, nice and easy. 20 seconds. Deep breaths. All throughout this workout, we just wanna be relaxing into each one of these positions slowly working on increasing the depth, increasing the stretch, but just nice and slow, nothing too drastic. Don't wanna to feel too much pain. All right, so the next move, really simple. All you're gonna do is stand shoulder width apart and you're gonna lean forward, you can bend your back, you're gonna to try to touch your toes, feeling the stretch in the back of your legs. So let's go, that's it. Let's just lean forward, nice and easy, 30 seconds. Tuck, the, tuck your chin in. Make sure you keep the knees straight. You want to keep your knees straight. Bend all the way down. Try to touch your toes. If you can come even a little bit further, you can try to grab the floor. But don't try to force anything, just nice and easy. Okay, 10 seconds. We're going to rest up a little bit. So come up straight, shake the legs, and let's return into the stretch. Lean forward. Touch your toes, keep the legs straight, nice and easy. You should be feeling a stretch at the back of your leg, your hamstrings, stretching them out. A few more seconds. Let me check what's the next stretch. Boom, 
and 10 seconds. Okay guys, so the next stretch, you're gonna bring one of your leg forward, drop the other leg down, and you wanna bend to about 90 degrees in your front leg, place your arms on your knee, and you wanna be pushing through your hips. So your hips are driving towards the floor, keep the chest nice and high, keep the leg behind extended backwards, and we're gonna freeze here for 30 seconds. Keep the chest nice and high. Okay, a few more seconds. And boom, all right, so keep in this position. Now I want you to drop both of your hands inside of your leg. And you wanna extend the leg behind you as far back as you can. And just lean forward into this stretch. You should be feeling a stretch in your hip. Hands by the side of your heel. The front leg should be about 90 degrees. Deep in this stretch. A few more seconds. And let's return with that. I mean, drop that leg down on the bottom of the floor and you want to drop your hip all the way down. So now you're sitting on your butt cheek, the leg is bent, you want to lean forward into the stretch, should be feeling a stretch in your butt. So leg is tucked in underneath my body, flat on the floor, and you're leaning forward. Just lean forward. Breathe into this and sit up. Now we're gonna switch legs. So the opposite leg comes forward, the other leg back, and now place your arms on your knee, chest nice and high. Be repeating the motion just with this leg, keeping the chest nice and high, the front leg about 90 degree bend, extending the rear leg as far back as you can. Leaning into the stretch with your hips, so your hips are driving towards the floor, chest is coming nice and high. Freeze into the stretch. Okay, now place both hands inside of the leg near the heel and you want to lean into this. So driving the hips into the floor, you should be feeling the stretch inside of your groin, inside of your inner leg. A few more seconds. And right now, place this leg on the floor just like this and you want to drop onto your butt cheek but keep this leg bent and just lay down lean forward into this stretch stretching your butt cheek out Freeze it for a few seconds and that's it. Now come up, switch legs, and we're gonna run through this routine one more time. So, again, switching legs. Coming up nice and high. Extend the rear leg backwards. Chest nice and high, hands on the knee, pressing with the hip into the floor that way. Super simple. This is gonna help us open up those hips Ooh. and get a little bit more depth when we're performing a squat and the deadlift. So right now place the hands on the inner leg right near your heel and keep pressing with those hips down into the floor. Nice and easy, keep pressing. Freeze into this position. Just 
keep in this position. And right now we're gonna drop this leg down onto the floor and lean onto your butt. Keep the leg tucked in underneath you and then we're gonna lean forward. You wanna feel a stretch inside of your butt. If you can't feel the stretch, try to move deeper down. Just lay down. If you can't get your butt cheek all the way to the floor, that's fine. You can just stay up on your leg. Just try to slowly drive that butt down to the floor eventually. Just freeze wherever you feel the stretch. That's the most important thing. And let's switch legs. So, last time we're gonna do this with the opposite leg. So, extend the rear leg, place your hands on the knee, chest nice and high, and driving the hips into the floor. So it's the last leg before we move in into a few more moves and then we're gonna be done with this routine. Nice and easy. That's it, increase the depth. Pushing the hips into the floor, chest nice and high, and now place the hands down on the floor and keep pressing in, stretching all of the hip flexors. All right, coming down nice and low. Freeze into this. A few more seconds. And let's drop that leg down onto the floor. <laughs> Tuck it in underneath you, extend the rear leg behind you, and drop down with your butt onto the floor if you can. Yeah, nice and easy. Now just lean forward. You should be feeling a stretch in your bum, in your glutes. This is gonna help us increase that depth during a squat. Okay, so boom, come out of the stretch. Now, I don't want you to get off the floor, I just want you to stay in this position. You can either stay on your toes, or you can place the feet flat like this, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit down on our feet into this position, and then I want you to drive the hips up into the sky. So from a sitting position, you're gonna lift your butt off the floor, off your feet, and you're gonna be pressing up this way to the sky. Freeze it for a few seconds. If you can't, return to the sitting position and then repeat the motion. Just try to squeeze your ass, squeeze your glutes, drive up and sit back down. You can move forward for a few seconds. And on a ding, we're gonna return back into that position. So, you can sit up on your toes, it's up to you. Whichever feels more comfortable, but then you press up with your hips. Breathe into this. If few shakes come about, that's a good sign. Tense your bum, tense your glutes. And nice. Now, I want you to lay down on your back. This is gonna be one of the last moves. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring one of your legs up and you're gonna pull it in to your chest. So you just wanna pull it to the middle. Grab the leg, pull it to the middle. And hold it down. And okay, we're gonna switch the legs. So, let's come back down and the opposite leg, just put it into the middle. We're gonna put it in all the way. 
Pulling the knee into your chest. Nice and easy. Few more seconds. Okay, now stay on the floor. I want you to wrap one of your legs on top of the other one, just like this, yeah? And then you wanna grab onto the leg behind and pull it into your chest. So legs crossed one on top of the other one and you're pulling it towards your chest. You should be feeling a stretch in your arms, in your bum, in your glutes, however you wanna call it. Pull it in towards your chest. Nice and easy, relax into this position. Don't force anything, just nice and gentle. And switch over, cross the opposite leg, and pull them in. Pull them in into the middle. Hold it in, only a few more seconds left and relax. All right, so guys, now stand up. I want you to do the last thing. So during this last move, what we're gonna do, I want you to stand against the wall and I want you to drop as far down into a deep squat. You're gonna drop as low as you can. Don't worry if you can't achieve this depth. But the main thing I want you to do is keep your toes and heels on the floor. So start from here, drop down as low as you can without having to hold on to anything. If you really need to, you can lean onto the wall, but the main aim is to go deep, as deep as you can, and eventually sit in a deep squat with your toes and heels on the floor, ideally in this position. So now you can come up, you can relax, a few seconds, you're gonna drop down into that deep squat, keeping the toes and heels on the floor. As deep as you can, so let's go down, let's go down, let's go down. Heels and toes on the floor, that's important. If you're really losing balance, you can hold onto that wall or you can grab onto some sort of object that is gonna help you balance in this squat or you wanna get used to this deep squat. Only a few more seconds. A few more seconds. Two, one, and up. Okay. So, a few more seconds of rest, and we're gonna do the last deep squat. This is the last move, so let's go drop back down, and very nice. Very nice, okay, so we're gonna freeze here for 30 seconds. You just wanna drop as low as you can without lifting your heels off the floor. So, this would be wrong, this is right. 10 more seconds. This is our last move. Three, two, one, and boom. We're gonna come back up. So well done for sticking around throughout the whole routine. Right now, I want you to do one thing. Pick one stretch out of the whole routine, whichever one you felt that was working the most with you, and I want you to just practice it a little bit right now. Don't leave yet, just turn off this video and then just perform that stretch, even without a timer. Just lay into it, freeze into that stretch for a few seconds, and practice on that flexibility. Repeat this video as often as you have to, even if it's a few times a day, that's good. And I'm gonna see you in the next video.